Welcome to the African Album Review Podcast, where we review Africa's best and latest music projects. Africa, Moody Say. My name is MJ Omoto and I welcome you to the African Album Review Podcast. Welcome back to yet another podcast episode, my people. How you doing? Hopefully everybody's doing good in this new year 2021. And as we all know, coronavirus is still doing its thing, unfortunately. So stay safe, mask up, social distance and just, you know, take care of you and yours. And that's how you take care of everybody else. Before we get into it, do visit the website motomotomusic.com. That's where you can check out all the podcasts, including the Motomoto podcast, uh, which I can only put on that website uh, uh, and nowhere else really at this point. But check it out and you can check out some of the best music mixes where I showcase some of the most amazing African music there is. And of course, top right hand corner, there is a PayPal icon. Click that and make a donation because this podcast, for it to continue being something, needs your support. Let's get into it. The latest African album review is... Angel Glamour is a popular Equatoguinean musician. I had to stop and say that (laughs) properly. Uh, But anyway, a musician from Equatorial Guinea. That is doing really well on the scene over there. He's considered one of the top talents out of the country. And despite that, it's a very small country with only, I think, 1.3 million people. He's done well and he's one of the artists from there to watch who has music and videos and just quality that can actually compete on the continental scale. And today I'm reviewing his album titled Setenta vs. Siete. Setenta vs. Siete was released December 18, 2020 under love entertainment music it has 13 tracks 46 minute runtime three features and multiple producer placements including rb dj roger sidigi diabate uh dunny epo music and uh, mr much anger the cover to setenta versiente shows a side view of angel glamour with his head held down to his praying hands The album title translates to 70 times 7 in English from Spanish. And this is from Matthew 18 verses 21 and 22 in the Bible. Um, Interestingly, the official languages of uh, Equatorial Guinea are Spanish, French and Portuguese. Otherwise, they have over 12 local languages that they speak. Album Review Let's analyze the music. Setenta Vesir Siete is opened up by the intro, which is about 3 minutes 41 seconds long. I don't know how much of an intro that is. It's pretty much a song. <laughs> um, I think the track to Obera Dabo could well be the banger of this project. And it was very bold of Angel Glamour to put this as the second song. Normally, artists tend to ease you in, but not this guy. The video is equally fire. And check it out on YouTube. This is one of the latest singles. I think it's the latest single from this project. And prepare to be wild from music from this uh, tiny country. Amor Vidadero alongside Mr. Mach Enga is such a beautiful number to be included on this album. This doesn't surprise me seeing Mr. Mach Enga having one of the big Equator Guinean songs of um, 2020 in the track Tombe, which you can check out on YouTube as well. Angel Glamour tells the love of his life on Amor Vidadero that he knows how lucky a man he is to have her and knows how to prove it by taking it to the altar. Listen up, gents. Good thing to do when you have a good woman. You know, one of those songs when a man pours his heart out? Yeah, Amor Vidadero is one of those songs. Easily the most high-profile collaboration on Setenta Vesis Siete is um, on the song Calme Toi, which is produced by Malian singer, choral player, and producer Siddiqui Diabate. Siddiqui Diabate does all three things exceptionally well and he'll go down as a legend of African music sooner or later just like his dad so for him to produce a track for Angel Glamour just 
is amazing. And Angel Glamour showcases his vocal prowess on this song with a wonderful performance where he asks for f- forgiveness for doing her wrong. I wonder if he's talking about the girl he was talking about on Amor Vidadero. <laughs> Okay, let's leave that for another day. It's a beautiful piece of music, honestly, and one of the best songs on this album, undoubtedly. This takes me to the song Muan featuring Yuma, who gave it such a nice touch with a top delivery as uh, some sort of female dance or artist slash vocalist at the same time. Top inclusion from Angel Glamour, who himself did not disappoint. I think by this point in the album, I kind of had a feel for the type of um, artist that he is. On the song Baba, he teams up with fellow Equator Guinean music powerhouse, Betonas, who is one of the most popular modern day artists from the country. This song is around the same pace as Obera Dabo and you know the people who dance to it. Likewise, the song Kautura is definitely tailored to the younger club crowd and will likely get a lot of spins in 2021. Album Review The Technical Side of Things Musically, Angel Glamour is a talented vocalist that likes to hit some fairly good notes to get you into his groove. He's not one of those finesse singers with a voice for like ballads, but put him on a mid to fast tempo groove, then he'll be winning. It's one of those voices that could do damage on a dance or track especially. I think he could he could be crazy with those. The sequencing on Sententa vs. Siete was fantastic. Nothing felt out of place or strayed away from the overall feel of the project. project and um, that's exactly how I like it. Curiously, <laughs> the single from this album, Te Voy A Pedonar, was all the way at number 12 on the track list. And this goes back to what I said about how bold Angel Glamour is on the music thing. Um, Typically, if you've got a song that you released as a single, you probably want it a bit, you know, earlier on on the track list. But hey, (laughs) he just did his thing. There's a video for Te Voy A Pedonar on YouTube released back in September. And if anything, check it for the storyline. Pretty good. Throughout Setenta Vases Siete, you get a lot of uh, mid-tempo grooves that are quite R&B-like in the vocal department with a bit of filtering to keep the keys intact and quite Afropop, Afrobeats and reggae dancehall inspired for the music itself. This made it an easy on the air type of listen and there's very little documentation for music from Angel Glamour's neck of the woods and it gets even harder when considering English sources and this is what makes Angel Glamour even more brilliant after listening to his album. It really got me asking questions and wanting to find out more about music from Equatorial Guinea. Where I would like to see some growth is on the predictability front. I think from what I could tell, he wanted to make a perfect album and so he didn't take any risks that I could see. He went for what he knew worked and he knows because he's a hit maker from the country. For the next project, a few risks could come with handsome rewards, uh, especially outside Equatorial Guinea, if he plays his cards right. So. That's a challenge, bro. Album review. The final thoughts. Setenta Vases Siete Siente left me pleasantly surprised, and I'm glad to say I have a few songs saved up that I'll listen to time and again. My favorite songs from the album are Amor Vedadero featuring Mr. Much Enga, Eres Tu, Obera uh, Dabo, definitely, Banger, Calme Toi, uh, Muan featuring Yuma and Kaltura, which is actually, yo, this song is gonna be a problem for real. It's a true dancehall filler. Oh yes, and the song Ansu Fati, which is named after the Afro-Spanish footballer who plays for Barca. Angel Glamour is the kind of artist I recommend to ease yourself into the wonderful world of Equatorian music. He has enough quality to make you want to listen to him and enough style to pique your interest. 
about what else Equatorial Guinea has to offer on the music front. If you like Afropop, Afrobeats with a hint of island vibes and a sprinkle of dancehall, then definitely give Angel Glamour a try. He's got something special from this um, tiny but wonderful country and I hope to hear more from him as the days, months and years go by. Otherwise, that's it for me. My name is MJ Omoto, son of Zimbabwe, signing out. This was the African Album Review Podcast. Peace. Dende. Moto Moto Music, the best place to listen to podcasts about African music online.